Good morning guys, it is Arika Misha coming to you today. It is Sunday morning and I am cooking for dinner lasagna. Everybody has cooked lasagna. So just wanted to show you guys how I fix my lasagna. Um, and let me show you what I have. I have from Publix the Mal Italian sausage. And I have the ground beef. I use the Italian sausage and ground beef in mine. I've got some ragu, uh, traditional spaghetti sauce. Um, I've got the Mueller's oven ready lasagna. I love using the oven, oven ready lasagna. I love it. It's quick. Y'all know me. In and out. And I have the Kraft Philadelphia creamy melt mozzarella cheese. Um, and for my seasons, I have of course, Parmesan is going to go in the lasagna, and I have seasoned salt, pepper, salt, and my um, parsley flakes, of course. That's going to go um, in the beef when I season the beef, and of course, the Parmesan is going to go inside the lasagna. You guys will see all that. All right, guys, this is it. We are going to make for Sunday dinner lasagna. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys, I am back. Just showing you guys my beef. Um, beef and Italian sausage. I put them in the same pan. I've got my seasons already put in there So I'll go ahead and get the meat browned up and like I said, I put my beef and Italian sausage I put them together put them in the pan cook them up so I just go ahead and get my beef browned A Little crowded in there, but you know your meat will shrink so I don't really need my fan on yet, so get my beef all chopped up here. And mix it all up. That's why I cook it together. And the beef and the Italian sausage together. I love that flavor of the two meats together. I love the Italian sausage because it gives it like that Italian flavor. Sometimes I make it with just beef, but most of the time I, I make it with the Italian sausage because I love the flavor of the Italian sausage. I love the flavor. I love the way the Italian uh, sausage tastes. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get this meat browned and we'll be back to build our lasagna to get it in the oven. Let's go. Okay, guys, just wanted to come back and show you my beef. I browned my beef. Um, I added my sauce. Um, also, don't forget, I added salt, pepper. Um, I added um, Parmesan. Yep, I added the Parmesan cheese. I add some a little Parmesan cheese to my meat so that the meat has that Parmesan taste to it. So. You guys should try it if you've never tried it. It gives your uh, meat, your Italian beef and sausage all blended together. And then it gives it that Parmesan flavor. So your meat has the Parmesan flavor. So it's a little trick. So you guys, if you've never done it, definitely worth trying. So, all right. I just wanted to come back and show you my sauce. Uh, once again, I browned my beef and sausage. Um, I added salt and pepper. Um, Parmesan, I added my parsley, and I added um, regular, just a regular Italian season uh, to the beef. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and let's build our lasagna. Okay, guys, let's build our lasagna. Okay, first thing I do, of course, everybody does it. Put in a layer of meat sauce. Okay. All right. And let me make sure you guys can see. Yep. Perfect. All right. A layer of my meat sauce. And like I said, I love using the oven ready lasagna because it makes it so quick, so easy, and so painless. I don't have to boil any noodles. Lay down my noodles here in my pan. And this is the perfect lasagna pan I've got here. All right, so I lay down my sauce. Yep, you guys can see great. Lay down a little bit of my sauce. I've got my noodles going down. 
Um, I'm gonna put in a little bit more meat sauce. A little bit more meat. This is how I do it, guys. This is how I do it. Okay, get that meat spread it around. It ain't gotta be perfect. It ain't gotta be all beautiful. It ain't gotta be all that. All right. All right. We got our mozzarella cheese. We love cheese, so I will put tons and tons of cheese. Tons and tons of cheese, guys. Okay. So that's one whole pack right there. Because we love the cheese. We love the cheese. Now, I don't use the ricotta cheese. Sometimes I do, but honestly, most of the time I don't. I've got the shredded Parmesan here. So, like I showed you guys, I have my grated Parmesan. Let me show you guys that. Grated Parmesan. So, alright. Get another layer of noodles here. Okay. All right. Just repeating it, guys. Putting my meat down. And I make my lasagna nice, thick lasagna. Spread that meat around. Because your meat and your cheese, they're going to produce juice. They're going to produce juices. So I don't like a lot, a lot of sauce. I don't like a, a, a saucy lasagna. We like a more cheesier lasagna. That's what we mostly like. More, che uh, more cheesier lasagna. And of course meat. You gotta have meat. I, I, like, I like a lot of meat in my lasagna. Don't give me no lasagna with no meat. I ain't gonna eat it. I'm letting you know right now. I'm not gonna eat it. I gotta have meat in my lasagna. Alright. Real easy. Real easy, easy. I'm gonna sneak some lasagna over in the sides here. I didn't forget, I'm gonna sneak some lasagna over in the sides, let me measure that. Right, break that, put that down in the sides there. All right, okay, good. I got four more pieces now. Let's get our parmesan down, okay? All right, and let's do our last layer of noodles. Do that final top. Okay. Alright. That last layer of beef spread it around. Fix it however you want, guys. It ain't gotta be all pretty. It ain't gotta be all perfect. I just put it all in the pan. Put it all in the pan. It'll all come together meat on the side there. And about the sides over there. Like 
like I said, sometimes I do the ricotta cheese, but you know what? The girls don't really like the ricotta cheese that much, and neither do I. So. It don't matter. Still tastes good. You don't need the ricotta cheese. Everybody don't use the ricotta cheese. I don't really like the taste of the ricotta cheese. Sometimes when I make my lasagna, I'll use cheddar cheese too. I'll use cheddar cheese sometimes. But most of the time, I like to just use the mozzarella cheese. Got some Sargento cheese. I love Sargento cheese. I love it. And I love how they make their shredded cheese. It's, it's, it's thicker. It's like perfect for lasagna. So I got a pack of Sargento I saved for the top. And I always use that Sargento, uh, Sargento, um, Sargento cheese for the top because it's thicker. I love the Sargento cheese. Love it. It has such a good taste. It's like it was made for lasagnas. Okay. Some people cover their lasagna. I don't cover mine. Nah, you need to cover it. I don't feel a need to cover it. Make sure I got my cheese everywhere. Gonna be nice and cheesy. Get my sides all cleaned up. Get everything all tucked in on the sides. As y'all know, once lasagna get to cooking, it can get a little messy. All right, guys, I'm going to take y'all. Oh, y'all got a nice little shot of the lasagna. Okay, guys, it's the lasagna. Y'all saw me do it, so you know I did it. All right, let me go ahead and get in the oven, and I'll be pulling it out so you guys can see. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just took the lasagna out of the oven, and you guys seen me do it, so you know I did it. Here it is. Of course, I'm going to zoom y'all in. Look at it. It looks amazing. Tastes amazing. All right, guys, that's it. That's all. All right, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at Arika Misha, especially on Instagram, guys. I'm just as busy over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks. Bye.